Harmony Miller is only the first of many. Patience I'll lose in the future. Can't wait. It may not be comforting, but it's the truth. How are you doing? Dr. Westburn. Hi, Dr. Ashford. Dr. Westburn. Hi, Nurse Driscoll. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, at least I hope so. I agreed to work a double, but I'm not feeling well, so I was hoping... Did you check with Epiphany? She said it's okay with her if it's okay with you. And I just conducted my final patient rounds and the bed's on the floor and in the ER are at below half capacity. Okay, off you go. <laughs> Feel better. Okay, where were we? Uh, how, how am I doing? You know, I, I did, I did everything I could to save my patient and I still lost her. So I feel, I, I feel helpless, useless, defeated. You know, part of me wants to scream and, and throw my coffee against the wall. I just. Well, TJ, you are a doctor and this is a hospital. There are plenty of fantastic places to scream if you muffle the noise. <laughs> Try a few and pick your favorite. <laughs> I'll do that. Thank you. I almost wish I could compartmentalize my emotions. No chief wants robots populating their staff. You don't want doctors lined up outside the call room taking turns having a good cry, right? I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. It wasn't that long ago I had to deliver devastating news to new parents. Brando and Sasha. Feeling too much and feeling too little both have their drawbacks. But given the choice, I want medical professionals who treat patients using their heart as well as their head. My, my favorite professor always said that good doctoring comes from good listening and good listening can't always be taught. It's also not billable. <laughs> yeah. The trick is to combine compassion with efficient care. You make that sound really easy. Oh, no, it, it's not. <laughs> but it is doable. Tell me, TJ, what kind of doctor do you want to be? I want to be the kind of doctor that, that people are happy to see again. I want them to trust me, to know that I will move heaven and earth for them, and, and to be the kind of doctor that can provide solace when healing is impossible. And how's that going for you so far? I did all I could to save Harmony. But when I had to break the news to her daughter last night, that every bit of confidence, all of my training went out the window and I felt completely out of my depth. Well, Dr. Ashford, congratulations, you're still human. <laughs> I mean, you can't tell when the losses are gonna hit. You could go a whole year without one and mm -hmm. then you could have three in one hour. Damn. You may need to learn not to internalize every loss. I mean, that is, that takes a toll. What do you suggest? Self-care. I, I know it's an overused, crunchy granola term these days, but the whole concept of putting an oxygen mask on first on an airplane, you have to take care of you first. I know it sounds selfish, but it's the first step in helping others. No, I, I will remember that, but do you have any recommendations or suggestions for self-care? Uh, I mean, find something that brings you peace. For some people, it's exercise and therapy. For others, it's a hobby or spending time with loved ones. You've been here all night, right? And I still have all day. While you're worrying about Willow's family, have you had time to check in on your own? How's Molly doing after her mom was attacked? I spoke with her briefly, and, and she's upset. Of course, but you know, she's Molly. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, not only is she holding it together, but she's holding everyone together. That sounds rough. It's a lot. You've had a rough night. Just say the word and I can have you covered. You mean? I mean, I'm saying you can go home. <laughs> this is the time, TJ in the beginning of your career where you have to determine what matters most to you and make it a priority. Otherwise, you can count on having many more dark, lonely nights of the soul. <laughs>